good afternoon to all the learners today the topic which i am going to discuss with you that is equilibrium of the firm and the industry in the short and long runs in the previous lecture we have discussed about the perfect competitions what is perfect competitions what are the various characteristics of perfect competitions today we are going to discuss in detail about the equilibrium of firm and industry in the long run and short run the basic objective of this uh, discussion is about we will discuss about the meaning of firm and industry then we will have the equilibrium of the firm and what are the conditions of the equilibrium of the firm then we have the total revenue and total cost approach and marginal revenue and marginal cost approach we will also discuss in this uh, session then we have the determination of the long run and short run equilibrium of the firm equilibrium of the industry and what are the various conditions of the equilibrium of the industry then we have the long term and short term equilibrium of the industry long term equilibrium of the industry and law of cost we will also discuss in this sessions then what are the basic difference between the equilibrium of industry and firm firstly we are going to discuss about what do we mean by firm and what do we mean by industry as you know a firm is an organization which produces and supplies goods that are demanded by the people this is the definition of uh, organization that uh, it is a organization a firm is an organization which produces and supplies goods and uh, that are demanded by the people a firm is a unit engaged in the production for sale at a profit and with the objective maximizing the profit this is the main objective of any firm who produce goods and supply to the uh, customer as per the demand uh, as per their demand then we have the industry industry basically is a group of firms as i told you firm is an organization as far as the industry is concerned it is a group of firm producing homogeneous product in a market the one conditions we um, one must fulfill that they are producing the homogeneous product in a market that is known as industry when uh, there are a group of firms which is known as an industry now we will discuss about equilibrium of the firm firstly we discuss about the meaning of industry and firm now we will we'll discuss uh, one by one uh, firstly we will take the equilibrium of the firm a firm is in equilibrium when it is satisfied with the existing amount of output meaning to say that when there is no tendency either to increase or decrease the output there is no tendency meaning to say that they have no desire to change the existing scenario of their production it will be earning maximum maximum profit or incurring minimum loss this is the condition of the equilibrium of the firm when a firm has no tendency either to increase or to decrease its output it is known as the equilibrium of the firm in second uh, in other way we can say that when uh, they are earning maximum profit or incurring 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 min minimum loss this is the condition of equilibrium firm now in detail uh, discussion of the equilibrium of firm first one is maximum profit equal to total revenue minus total cost this is first one then we have the marginal cost should be equal to marginal revenue this is the one conditions which must fulfill while we are talking about the conditions of the equilibrium of the firm mc that is marginal cost is equal to mr that is marginal revenue second conditions which uh, required to uh, for the equilibrium of the firm that mc come marginal cost curve must cuts mr come from below it uh, mc curve must cut the mr curve from the below we will discuss in detail with the help of a graph then how these two conditions fulfill in the case of equilibrium of the firm first one is maximum profit that is total revenue minus total cost then we have as i told you the total revenue and total cost approach what is it a firm is an equilibrium when it is earning maximum profit or when it produces that amount at which the difference between the total revenue and total cost is maximum this is the one conditions that total revenue and it is known as the total revenue and total cost approach when uh, the symbol uh, stands for uh, and total revenue this is a tr minus tc when we deduct the total cost from the total revenue it is known as the profit and this condition this approach is known as the 
total revenue and total cost approach this is first one condition with the help of graph you can see that on o x axis there is output and on o y axis there is a revenue and uh, profit so you can uh, see that uh, when the curve a point you can see on a when the production is o m when production is om in this condition it is marked by the uh, pointer a that is this is known as the break even point break even point means when there is no profit no loss then when we increase the production from m1 to m2 uh, this you can say that this is the area when farm is earning maximum profit why it is earning maximum profit because total cost is less than the total revenue the straight uh, line you can see on the graph that is uh, total revenue and the curved line uh, that is shown in that is the total cost and the arrow mark area that is uh, uh, b uh, on point of r or s this is known as the uh, profit area this is the maximum profit which firm earning and on om2 uh, point you can see that this is the area where uh, total cost uh, curve the total revenue and this is the uh, area when uh, firm will shut uh, shut down period you can say that on this point firm close there all the units because in this case he is not earning any profit so this is the uh, scenario when we uh, talked about the to uh, total cost and total revenue ap approach this is the total revenue and total cost approach first one point on a you can see that the break even point when there is no profit and no loss because tc is equal to tr and in, in between you can see that on rs point when uh, which is marked by the arrow uh, this is the area when firm is earning the maximum uh, profit that is om and om1 when there is break even point there is no profit and no loss and this is again the total now profit curve you can uh, see that on uh, which is um, uh, start from below the o point and which uh, touched om2 this is the total profit curve then we have the marginal revenue and marginal cost approach the second and most popular approach of finding out a firm equilibrium is known as the marginal revenue and marginal cost approach the addition now we will discuss the addition made to the total cost why the production of one more unit of a commodity is marginal cost when we uh, add any additional uh, unit of productions and uh, by the addition of this production when there is a change in the total cost that is known as the marginal cost and the addition made to the total revenue by the sale of one extra unit or more unit is known as the marginal revenue when we add additional made to the total cost by the production when we add one more unit in the production and the change in that marginal cost and the change in the uh, revenue that is known as the marginal revenue in the long run firm continues its production as long as the when its mr marginal revenue is greater than mc that is marginal cost and reduce its production when marginal cost uh, less than marginal uh, revenue less than marginal cost and would not like to make any change and uh, they will, would not like to make any change when the condition is marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost this is the second uh, appro appro uh, condition that is marginal revenue and marginal cost approach so the first condition of equilibrium is mr is equal to mc but it is not sufficient conditions of equilibrium as i told you that this first one condition is not sufficient when uh, whenever the other conditions that we are going to discuss is not fulfilled a firm may not get maximum profit even when its marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue it must fulfill the second condition what is it uh, second condition is when marginal cost curve uh, must curve marginal cost curve must cut marginal revenue curve from the below this is the second one conditions when marginal cost curve cut the marginal revenue from the below then the conditions of the uh, equilibrium of the firm is fulfilled so first one is mc marginal cost equal to mr and second one is mc curve cuts mr curve from the below this you can see with the help of uh, 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 graph on your screen that marginal revenue and marginal cost approach on uh, o y axis you see the revenue and cost and o y axis there is a output when the productions uh, the price is op then output is uh, output is n in this case 
the marginal cost is uh, greater than MR. This is not the conditions. But when the second one conditions that is E equilibrium the point when this is the E point when marginal uh, MC curve is equal to MR in this case and marginal curve cut the MR uh, uh, curve from the below. You can see on E uh, point this is the equilibrium point. In this case both the conditions are fulfilled. Uh, in this case MC is equal to MR is equal to MC and MR, MC curve cut MR from the below. So this is this approach of marginal revenue and marginal cost approach. Then we have the determination of the short run equilibrium the firm. What is it short run equilibrium the firm? It is not necessary that a firm in equilibrium must earn super normal profit or normal profit. Why it is it? A firm in equilibrium may earn super normal profit, may earn normal profit or may even suffer minimum losses. This is the conditions in the case of short run. You must uh, learn and remember that this is the condition of the short run. In case it stops production temporarily, it will have to bear the loss of fixed cost. This is one of the drawback of this uh, uh, short run that if they stop their production temporarily for some time, then they will have to bear the loss of fixed cost because fixed cost is there. Either there is production or there is no production. Then we have the uh, all factor of production including entrepreneur are homogeneous in these conditions short term of equal in the firm we generally believe that all factor of production including entrepreneurs are homogeneous. Second one is they are available to all firm at the same cost this, this is possible in the case of perfect competition. All firms are equally efficient as such they have identically cost curve this is generally believed in the case of short term equilibrium the firm. And all the three situation depend upon the price determined by the industry. All these three conditions, as I told you, it is depend situation. It is depend upon the price determined by the industry. Means when firm is earning super normal profit, when firm is earn normal profit, and one suffering with the losses. First one conditions. Uh, what is super normal profit? What is it? it? It means a firm in equilibrium earns super normal profit. When average revenue curve price which is also known as the price per unit average revenue curve, uh, revenue means price per unit it is determined by the industry is more than its average cost meaning to say that when average revenue which is known as the price per unit is greater than average cost the firm earns super normal profit this is the conditions when AR is greater than AC you can see on the graph. Uh, on, the, your, on your screen that O Y axis there is revenue and cost and O Y O axis there is output. When production of O M is in this case the price is O P and O B shows the cost and in this case the conditions of equilibrium is fulfilling on uh, point E when M R equal to M C and M C curve cut the M R from the below. P P means this shows the M R curve, and this and the shaded area you can see that this is the area of the super normal profit when price is more than the cost. This is the condition of super normal profit. Then second we have the normal profit. A firm in equilibrium earns normal profit when average revenue, the, which is as I told you, which is known also known as the price per unit, it is determined by the industry, is equal to its average cost. When AR equal to AC, this condition uh, shows that the firm earns normal profit. This is the condition of normal profit. You can see on your uh, uh, screen that in normal uh, profit uh, case, when production in case of equilibrium is OM, price is OP, the AR and MR is equal to PP is known as the uh, uh, AR curve of the firm. In this case, uh, why we, uh, we are calling it normal profit because the MC curve cut the MR from the below and MC uh, curve is equal to MR. This is known as the, on E point. This is the normal profit conditions. In this case, when firm uh, price uh, remains same and MC both the conditions uh, of equilibrium are fulfilling on this point E when MC curve cut the MR from the below and MC is equal to MR in this case generally believe that AR equal to MR 
third conditions of uh, equilibrium of a firm in short run that is if a minimum loss a firm in equilibrium may incur minimum loss when average revenue price per unit again it is a price per unit determined by the industry in this case you must know that if the price is determined the industry for all the firm is less than its average cost why an amount to its uh, fixed cost when price is equal to average variable cost ar equal to abc ar is less than in this case the firm incur loss and when the ar is less than abc average variable cost in this condition firm will stop productions because firm will have to bear the uh, fixed cost because it remains same when ar is less than abc this is uh, all these conditions are possible in the case of short run when there is super normal profit normal profit and minimum loss this is the picture of minimum loss you can see that when the uh, uh, on o x there is output and o y axis there is revenue and cost when production is o m in this case firm is uh, firm ar is equal to mr when the price uh is op in this case the cost is shown by the b and the shaded area of pbae it is uh, the area of the loss in this case conditions both the conditions are fulfilling when mc curve cut the mr from the below and mc curve is equal to mr this is the point of equilibrium point and when there is decline the price from ep to ep1 there is the uh, decline when the production is n and the price uh, is declined from e op to op1 this is the point when firm will decided to shut down uh, to stop its production because in this case ar is less than abc when the production as i told you in the previous slide when ar is less than abc firm will decide to stop the production this is these three conditions as we have discussed in the case of short run then determination of the long run equilibrium of the firm what happened in this case long period is the period of reference to that period in which the producer get sufficient time to adjust their supplies according to the changes conditions change condition of demand this is the period when uh, supplier has a time uh, producer has a time to uh, adjust their supplies according to the changes condition of the demand the second one is new firm can enter and existing can leave the industry this is sufficient time to enter in the firm and sufficient time to exist from the industry the existing firm in the industry can increase or decrease the size of plant as required because in the long run they have the time in the long run also the firm will be equilibrium when its lmc long marginal cost long run marginal cost curve is equal to mr curve and lmc long run marginal cost curve cuts mr Uh, curve from the below these conditions they have to fulfill in this condition the firm is equilibrium as i told you in the long run they have the enough time to adjust the producer as uh, uh, sufficient time to uh, adjust their supplies according to the change condition of the demand determination uh, of the long run equilibrium the firm in this case a firm will produce the commodity at minimum long run average cost this is one condition not only firm long run marginal cost and marginal revenue will be equal but minimum long run average cost and average revenue which is also known as the price will also be equal this is conditions in case of long run it means long run marginal cost will be equal to long run average cost automatically it will be uh, equal marginal cost is equal to average cost at the point where average cost is minimum lmc equal to mr equal to ar and minimum lac this is the conditions of the equilibrium in the uh, firm in long run you can see on the graph uh, that how we did determine the uh, equilibrium of firm in long run in this case you can see that om is the uh, point of the output and o y axis the price and revenue uh, revenue or cost is shown when price is uh, op in this case you can see the firm is under super normal profit because price is more than uh, its cost and the cost is that is uh, shown by on when there is a decline in the price on op1 again the firm will be uh, in condition of normal profit this is the uh, this is possible only in the case of long run when firm have uh, producer has enough time to uh, change their supplies as per the de uh, demand of the customer 
so this uh, in this case you can see that when firm is earning uh, super normal profit then there is decline uh, when new firm enter in the uh, industry then definitely the price they will increase the production the price will decline and in this case now again the firm will in equilibrium that is known as the on e this is the normal profit when ar is equal to mr now we will discuss about the equilibrium of industry but as i told in the first slide that what do we mean by industry basically industry is a group of firm producing homogeneous products is called industry such firms are found only under perfect condition this is only and only possible in case of perfect uh, competition when they are producing homogeneous products and industry is in equilibrium when it has no tendency to change as i told you that when there is no tendency to change they want to stay at the same conditions uh, at the same positions uh they want to prefer to work in the same position then uh, the firm or industry is in equilibrium new firm have no incentive to join the industry that's why they are not joining and existing firm will under no compulsion to leave the industry as they have no fear of incurring losses this is the conditions when there is no incentive no new firm will uh, uh, interested to join the industry and uh, existing firm if they have no fear of any incurring losses they definitely they will not decided to uh leave the industry so these these are the conditions in the case of equilibrium uh conditions of the equilibrium of industry as i discuss in the case of firm and in this case of industry when constant number of firm when there is no change uh, no new firm in enter and no old firm leave the industry in this case then the constant number of the firm uh, remain in the case in in the industry when equilibrium the firm all firm uh, those who are operating individually they must be they uh, have to be in equilibrium and have no tendency either to increase or decrease their out output if these both these conditions are fulfilled in case of industry then definitely firm uh, industry will be uh, in equilibrium when uh, the number of uh, constant number of firm is there and equilibrium firm is there short term equilibrium the firm of industry when it happens the industry is in equilibrium at that price at which quantity demand is equal to quantity supplied in this case industry we will uh, decide the equilibrium with the help of demand and supply curve full equilibrium is in short run is very rare as i told you it is very very rare conditions it is possible only when all firms are just normal profit which is not possible some of them they are super normal profit some of them some of uh, are earning normal profit and some may be incurring losses so the condition of all the firm is are normal profit is not possible as such industry is ordinarily not in full equilibrium short period that's why because some of them are earning no, normal profit some of them are earning normal super normal profit and some of may be incurring losses this is the graph you can see that when uh, industry is in equilibrium when demand and supply curve are at one point that is known as e op is the price revenue and cost you can see on oy axis and output is shown on the o ox axis and on other uh, graph you can see that uh, the equilibrium of the firm this is the first one show the industry equilibrium and second one uh, shown the firm in the equilibrium in this case in first second one you can see that when there is super normal profit when firm is on normal profit and in second case when uh, firm is bearing losses so this is the condition in case of equilibrium when firm is earning super normal profit or may incurring losses then we have the long run equilibrium of industry industry is in equilibrium when these are the conditions it mu they must be fulfilled each firm of the industry is in equilibrium that is its marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue and marginal cost cuts re marginal revenue from the below this they have to fulfill second one is there is no tendency to change the number of firm that is when long run average cost is equal to average revenue price this is shown as lac long run average cost is equal to average revenue so this is the condition you can see that when uh, dd show the demand curve as is the supply curve and in second case when lac M smc short run lmc long run marginal cost and short run average cost they all are equal at the point of e when the price is op and the output is oq so this is the conditions of the equilibrium uh, of the industry now we have the long 
टर्म इक्वरियम ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री एंड लॉ ऑफ कॉस्ट दीज आर द थ्री कंडीशन आई डिस्कस विद यू इन डिटेल दैट वैन देर कॉन्स्टेंट कॉस्ट का वैन देर इज इंक्रीजिंग कॉस्ट एंड वेर इज डिक्रीजिंग कॉस्ट दीज आर द थ्री कंडीशन टू नो द कम्प्लीट नॉलेज ऑफ लॉन्ग रन इक्वरियम ऑफ इंडस्ट्री इट इज एसेंशियल टू नो हाउ प्राइस एंड कॉस्ट एडजस्ट दम सेल्व वैन न्यू फॉर्म एंटर द इंडस्ट्री वन यू मस्ट नो वैन न्यू फॉर्म एंटर द इंडस्ट्री हाउ कॉस्ट एडजस्ट The nature of its adjustment depends on whether the industry is operating under constant costs, increasing cost, and decreasing cost. These are the three conditions: constant, increasing, and decreasing. Now we will discuss one by one. Long run uh, term equilibrium in constant cost industry. What happens? Constant cost industry is one where average cost remains constant. You you, you must know that. when the average cost remain constant irrespective of the increase or decrease of production when it uh, in case uh, in this case when if the production is increasing or decreasing then there is no effect in case of average cost they it remains constant from in e such an industry neither enjoys external economies and nor suffer external dis economies in this case it is not happened but they are enjoying external economies or suffering with external dis economies when new firms enter constant cost industry then the market demand of factor does not increase to such extent as to increase their prices so definitely they will not remain in the industry they will they are not interested in constant cost, cost industry in response to increase in demand there will be increase in equilibrium out to but equilibrium price will remain unchanged this is the conditions of constant cost industry you can see that when the price is op in this case all the lac smc sac all they are same when the, they increase the price from op to o uh, p1 and the output from om to om1 then you can see uh, on other side the output which is shown on uh, with the help of oq oq1 oq2 when the price is op and the output is oq in this case dd uh, is the demand curve and ss is the supply curve uh, uh, and ls is the long run supply curve and when there is increase in demand the demand curve shift from to the right that is d1 d1 and the supply curve shift from uh, to the downward that is s1 and s2 this is the condition of the constant cost industry then second one we have long run equilibrium in the increasing cost industry in this case what happens uh, as compared to the constant cost uh, industry increasing cost industry refer to that industry in which average cost increases with increasing in output in this case cost increase when we increase the output such industry face why it is happen such industry face dis economies of the scale when they increase their output entry of new firms bring down the profit of the firm on two count fall in price on one hand why the profit uh, bring down because there is fall in price on one hand and second one is the rise in cost on other hand that's why the price fall down when production is increase of an increasing cost industry it in response to increase in demand note it down when production is increased of an increasing cost industry in case of increasing cost industry when production is increased in response to increase in demand the equivalent price is also increase this is uh, you can see on uh, in graph uh, that when the price is op then the demand is on then they increase the om Uh, then there is shift in the price uh, from op to op1 and the second uh, uh, side you see that the revenue and cost on o y axis and o axis there is output there is uh, when the uh, demand is oq then the price is op in this case dd demand curve as a supply curve and where there is increase in uh, demand from oq to oq1 then uh, demand curve shift from Uh, d d to d1 and supply curve uh, shift from s s2 s1 s1 decline and ls shown the uh, uh, long run supply curve and which touched first point and second point this is the in in case of industry and first case you can see on a part that is uh, shown the equilibrium of the firm so when there is increase in the price of increasing cost industry definitely the cost uh, also increases and as i told you uh, price of the firm on two count when there is fall in price on one hand why the profit uh, down uh, because price is also fall and on other hand there is also rise in the cost this is 
uh, that's why the profit decline in this case of uh, increasing cost industry then we have the long term equilibrium increasing in in the decreasing cost industry in decreasing cost industry when production increase the cost goes on falling this is the condition of decreasing cost industry the reason being that all firms operating in the industry get economies of scale in this case it generally assumed that the firm is getting economies of scale in decreasing cost industry entry of new firm must bring down factor prices the entry of new firm the factor prices when there is decline definitely the profit will increase this is the conditions of the uh, long term equilibrium in decreasing cost industry first one graph show the firm equilibrium and second one is show the industry you can see that when there is decline in the price definitely the price uh, the new equilibrium point you can see that on op1 here the sac one s uh, smc one L lac one they all are equal at the point when mc curve cut the mr curve from the below these are the condition must be fulfilled on other hand as far as the industry uh, equilibrium is the concern when demand is uh, dd when there is increase in demand now the new demand can shift to d1 d1 and there is uh, downward shift of the ss uh, s1 s1 supply curve and ls is shown the long run supply curve and it touched uh, both the conditions at point 1 and point 2 this shows in case of long term equilibrium when there is decreasing then there is de uh, decrease in price as i told you that in decreasing cost industry when new firm enters uh, it they must bring down the factor prices now we have the difference between the equilibrium of industry and firm these three Uh, major point we have definitions first one is industry is one is a group of firm and firm is uh, one those who are operating is a part of an industry operating individually conditions means when mr in case of firm when mr curve is equal to mc curve and mc curve cut the mr curve from the below and in case of for industry when all firm are in equilibrium there is no change no new firm enters in the industry and no existing firm uh, uh, decided to uh, leave the industry so this is the conditions of firm and industry and as far as the period is concerned uh, industry uh, is concerned industry may be in equilibrium Uh, in the case of long run and as far as the firm is a concern firm uh, may be equilibrium and they earn the profit uh, super normal profit normal profit and incurring loss in the case of short run and in the long run firm and industry earn only and only normal profit so this is all about the equilibrium of the firm and industry in case of uh, long run and short run this all we have discussed in perspective of the perfect competition and i hope that after this sessions all you all will be able to understand the meaning of firm and industry and definitely you will able to explain the equilibrium of the firm and what are the conditions of equilibrium of the firm and what are the conditions of equilibrium of the industry then you also able to define the total revenue and total cost approach marginal revenue and marginal cost approach and you definitely understand the long run equilibrium of the industry and what are how they are interlinked with the law of cost and you will also differentiate between the equilibrium of the industry and firm differentiate between uh, these two terms uh, industry and firm so thank you very much Thank <music> you.